to download the app and go on the walk anytime they want and just have access to a wealth of information that they can put in there themselves about what we're doing to the environment, how we can help it, but on a personal basis. So uh, the initial app that we had in design was a little bit complicated. We had to work with the, the Google Maps API in order to get this to work. And just getting all that information we wanted into the app, working the way we intended, was very difficult for us. So some of the stumbling blocks we had were just getting the map to open. So step one, <laughs> the app. And we're, uh, we needed to get it to uh, the, the actual process of the app. We needed it to show where we are and where we are in relation to certain points so that it can start playing these audio clips that we agreed upon. And I'll tell you right now, we actually had great success. It's working perfectly. Now, unfortunately, we couldn't uh, take the actual path because that would require us to drive into the middle of Monterey and walk about seven or eight miles. We didn't quite have, that was quite a little bit out of the scope at the moment, but we have replicated the process on campus with some of our own great music by, I think, Kelly Clarkson? Yes, Kelly Clarkson. And, um, we're going to show you right now uh, the app, in, uh, the actual app that's running right now. Now, keep in mind, we can't run this on the emulator because it requires our current location from GPS navigation, and it doesn't, it's not supported on all the machines. So this is the app right here when you open it up. The Ride logo right there, and oh yeah, the name of the program specifically is Ride. And Ride and Sea Level is play on words on the app. And uh, if you go ahead and start it. So it, that's the, those are predefined points on a path. Can you zoom in a little bit? There we go. So you can see that uh, the blue dot is where we are right now. So it's recording our, our location right there. And those are four predefined points on the map. And when you get within range of that, of that point, it will play audio. And uh, we went out and tested this. You may have actually seen us walking around on inner garrison with a computer, a phone attached, trying to get this thing to work. And we uh, programmed a similar uh, path across the quad. And we actually have a recorded video of that, of the app in action. And the ticker, oh yeah, the ticker, I forgot about that. The ticker at the bottom is playing some, is looping through some Greenpeace facts, you know, just words. Got more sustainable and yes. I don't know why, but I keep saying Greenpeace instead of Greenpeace. Okay. Um, so if you can. Uh, the video that we have actually showing it working um, on his computer. He comes in through the Dropbox as well. Okay. 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 see, I'm going to press the start button. It opens our map. We have three points. That blue point is our position, and it started playing music based off of that, that uh, marker. When we hit the middle point, it's going to change the song, and when we get to the end point, it's going to change the song again. So let's go. This is Kelly Clark. <laughs> 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 Yeah, you can see it's a little bit. We play Dave Matthews, and uh, there's the Dave Matthews. We reach the point, and then go to the very description at the very end to see that. <laughs>
Cool. Um, we, had, we, we intended to make a settings tab with a drop down menu where you can uh, upload your own. Didn't get to that in time, but it is all driven by XML files, so you can, it's interchangeable with pretty much anything you want. So, uh, do you guys have any questions for us? How do you deal with the overlapping spaces if you have you know, whatever your radius is that you said for these different zones? How do you deal with the overlapping with it? And how do you see that you get information? Um, so um, we had, we had to play with that a lot. We did run into that issue where it would check back and forth on overlapping ones and start playing both audio files at once. We ran into that bug. So what we did was we uh, shrunk the, the the actual radii of each of the individual points, and we could actually do that programmatically to determine the minimum distance between two points. We had some functions started, unfortunately, we didn't get to finish it and implement it because we had a known we had a known radius for everything. So we just programmed it to. 0.00025 longitude latitude radial distance. Okay. Yeah, so those three points were from here to Navarty Street. So that was that close of a, of a, you know, of a distance, and it was still able to properly recognize when to play the next file. Yeah, with, with the same, oh. it starts reading in like 20 meters. Yeah. Are there any other questions? Uh, well, how we do our DTS? Yeah. So the, how it works is that we have a, a persistent check where it constantly checks for GPS location, our GPS location, and it refers them to the node that we have um, shown the markers, and it checks them and then it checks the distance between them. And if it's within the certain radius that we wanted, we go ahead and play the audio file. One thing that I would like to note is that longitude and latitude are not equal units, so we actually have to use an oval area, and that was kind of weird to work with, but the only way that we
That was another problem.